Oh, good morning. There's Bobby's 525. Luke's 528's up there. The 540 just got put in the garage for the day. And we're headed to Detroit. <laughs> Alright guys, we haven't even gotten out of the parking deck yet. The show starts here. We have a Dynan Tune D39 M5. I feel like I've seen this car before at a show. Check that out. Princeton University, Michigan plates. It looks to be a jet black car with winter wheels and tires on it. That's nice, tight and interior sport trim. That's a good start to the Detroit Auto Show right there. We're gonna start off with the new Mustang. Yep. Yeah, the LEDs are nice touch. Every year they had them in Detroit, they had them in Los Angeles two months ago, last month, and now they're uh, back in Detroit this year. Those big expanding things. That's a retina display, I was just telling Luke, right? Yeah. Highest quality you get. Uh, Lincoln, we're gonna head upstairs. Um, I don't really see anything of interest down here, but there's a vintage car up there that we're gonna go take a look at. in at Lincoln. So we've hit Ford and Lincoln so far. Um, we're gonna keep moving. I'm seeing Volvo over there and maybe Mazda. So let's see what there is there. How's it going? How's it going? Good. Good. It's an interesting concept. Mazda at Jag Concepts. Concepts at a uh, X. What is that? XKR. XKR. Yeah. Uh, whatever this X is. XJR. That thing. Jag is the best one so far. Yeah. Well, guys, look at that quality. Uh. It is their cheapest car, and I see why. It's got manual mirrors. That's something you haven't seen for a while. No, no function steering wheel. It looks like a gaming console. <laughs> right. I can sit here and look at myself in the side mirror. This is ridiculous. This is crazy. Half of this stuff breaks like three years. Probably talk it down to at least 13. Or you can get a or spark. Or could get this. You could get a spark, spark or a very nice conditioned used M5. Some, any other car really. be a fun rental car. Brand new Chevy SS. What is that? Are you kidding me? Sorry guys, I'm picking. I always do this at auto shows and then you yell at me. But I mean, you gotta build a good car. In the same place last year, they have the Corvette C7. There's less of a line to get a look at it this year. Stingray. Or the sixth, seventh, whatever they use.
It looks good. The front really looks good. I'll give the Corvette big, big points for that. It's just the complete lack, lack of even attempted quality that would pisses me off so much about this car. Nismo bringing performance to the budget car, I suppose. Carbon fiber things. It's manual. A center with a big engine. Wow. Look <laughs> at the mirror. It's a, what? It's a Jetsons car. Is uniquely horrible. Way to go, Honda. So, why does the Mercedes take the time to put lights What's the point? This looks really good. I actually like that. Edition one. The CLA 45. I'm literally the biggest guy, like the heaviest, that you could ever get in the seat. Because even me, I feel ever so slightly tight. I really do like the seats. Driving, the seats are really nice. And I like like the steering wheel a lot. Driving and the gauges are beautiful. Fashion, it'd be great. I don't like this but part of the for dash, For a road trip, though. I yeah. think I would be sleeping uncomfortable. It feels like that's a complete afterthought. Really yeah. But if I, I lost like that part of the dash, but the seat, yeah. the wheel, and the Which cluster is great. And the exterior, I really like. That could be something better, but it is well, a, a CLA. When we that get back, you're going to go for a run. <laughs> no. It's a little tight no. back here. GLA 45 AMG. Uh, if you like a hatch, that's for you. I'm not a fan of the hatch. I really like that CLA though. They just get a few things on the inside, maybe. Looks like they've got a S63 and a E63 S AMG here. Very cool. Kind of the same as the CLA. I really like the steering wheel, although this has like the old NAND gauges in it. Beautiful Alcantara headliner. Everything feels really high quality. Nice carbon fiber. Pretty nice. Getting in the 5 Series yeah. alternative. Right. Or the A6 M alternative. M5, right? Oh, yeah. E63. Is the M5 competitor? I believe so, yeah. It's faster, I think. It's too low it's for me. 500 I like to see. I think this car's faster than an M5. It probably is. Yeah. It's a little bit torque. smaller. It, I don't like it feels a little smaller. Maybe it's just the way the seats are done, but everything's really high quality. It is. I don't personally like the styling as much, but I mean, there's no saying that it is not well built and well done because this is beautiful. There's no way that's the battery for an E63 AMG, is it? Is that just something they put in for the show? Are you kidding me? There's no way. That no, cannot look, be the battery. Look, here's the battery mounting points. This is where the battery normally sits. Is that just something they that's put in for the show? For the show. So it's got to be. It. It's got to be. So this one is inexpensive. 140 grand also has 577 horsepower and goes to 16 under four seconds. And a car that weighs like 7,000 pounds. That's incredible. This is the new Mercedes-Benz C-Class. In a beautiful color, actually. I really like that. I like the old one too. In 08, when they redesigned the C-Class, that became a beautiful car and they've only made it better. 
That's a C220, so I'd imagine that's a Turbo 4 or something competitive. Kind of looks purple in this light. I'd go with the dark interior, but that's I like the lines on that. That's a nice change. C-Class, E-Class, they facelifted it. That's not an E-Class. It's another C-Class. This all must be the new C. That is the new S-Class with tons of technology. No gauges, LCD displays only. S-Class coupe concept. Looking very futuristic. Massive car. We're gonna move over to Audi in a minute, or actually Smart will probably work down that way. But this is interesting. That's ridiculously metallic. CTSV. Look at that. Holy crap. My God. The TLX Acura prototype looks pretty good. The new Genesis. Very impressive. I like it. If I remember correctly, that's going out of production, but they have one. I was told it was an M3 killer. They were incorrect, but it does look pretty cool nonetheless with the carbon fiber spoiler and all that stuff. There's the LFA. The future is here. What the hell? Look at that. Oh yeah. Very sporty. The Toyota FT1. Razvan, this is for you. It says Mopar Garage. Dodge SRT Hemi. They have a Chali Mopar. Got a Viper. That's for you, Chris. In green. Guys, we've been here a 
couple of hours. The time has come to get to some real cars. <laughs> we lost Bobber. Sure. Now for the vlog. Of course we are. Of course we are. I've already filmed a bunch for E39, so, so if you want full coverage of uh, what Detroit has here at BMW, or what BMW has here in Detroit, go to E39 source in a couple days. But this is an M4. Excuse me. Uh -huh. Sorry. Which I think looks really nice. The M3 is over here. I like the M3 better. Jet, or, uh, carbon black's beautiful, but I think that's a color that I prefer. That is gorgeous. And another M4 over here. So if you want to see a little more, skip and hop, jump all over to 39 source and check it out there. That's the new M3. And that's the new M4. Love it. Don't like that color. I don't like that color at all. But I really like the car. They also have the M235i and 228i Sport. And in the United States, we now have a 535 diesel F10, which uh, if you like diesel, that's now an available. That's now available. Uh, we also have a 335 X Drive, a 650 coupe over there. The i3 and the i8 are at the show this year. So they were last year. They change, change every year. Start to look a little bit more like a car that they'll actually be making in a couple of years. Um, still can't sell me on it. I am no fan, but it's the future, and I can't deny that. Just not a future I want to be a big part of. But see if we can get up here. Get a look at the I8. Alright guys, in BMW's owner's lounge right now. Pretty friggin' packed out there. But they've got pretzels and coffee and such. Well, guys, this is us at the lounge with pretzels, free water. More pretzels? Jesus. More pretzels. He's got an R8, V10, and blue, and an S5, S3. I think that's the first time we have an S3. Something else that's big. It looks like an A7, but it doesn't at the same time. It's an RS7. Audi RS7. It's pretty cool. I know. We have an S8. Yeah, that's a fast car. 520 horsepower, 479 pound feet of torque. Okay, picture that coming up behind you on the highway. San Diego style with Tesla now. They have another one over there. It, it has just become so packed, you can't even see cars anymore. They're just fighting people to get a look at it from four inches away, and then you can't even take a picture. So we've seen about everything. I think we're going to head out in just a few minutes. Hours and hours and hours have passed. It's 2.40 in the morning. I'm now editing this really long video. We're going to be over 20 minutes today. Really hope you like cars. If you made it this far, type me a comment down below and let me know. Hey. Hey. Um, yeah, we're getting tired. We're going to head up pretty soon. Uh, Colt and Bobber went back to Colt's apartment for the night. Uh, Bobber's going to head out tomorrow morning, so they're going to come here before they go. We'll say bye to him. Um, when the rest of the guys went out to eat, I didn't want to do that after taking the M5 to Detroit and back. It got really dirty, and wow, why is it on this side of the garage? I cleaned it, and it uh, doesn't look like that. I washed it, and uh, I actually dried it. I vacuumed the interior. It looks really good um, for winter, and I didn't want to back it out in the snow to move it over there. So I've got this side of the garage for the night. But it's clean and it barely burned any oil, which is nice. And I, I used a considerable amount of gas because it's an M5, but you know how that goes. So we're gonna get some sleep. Today was a really busy day. We were in the car for two and a half hours, then we walked around for five hours, then another two and a half hours in the car. 
And now we're just editing videos and stuff and watching a video of it's some guy's 528. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we do and find entertaining. It's yeah. fun. And there's another Looking up pictures. I yes. love those pictures. Very nice. And we'll All right. So we will talk oh. to you guys tomorrow. We'll some comments on the head show. Head and there's Luke's. Headlight. One headlight in, other one yeah. off. He's got headlights out. Yeah. Doing in maintenance. Doing right. <laughs> maintenance. <laughs> so, hey, we'll talk tomorrow. Um, leave me a, another comment. What was your favorite car in the video? All right. Good night.